What pens can use the Goulet nibs? Very simple question, I like that, very poignant. Um, and the reason I took this question is because it's been a little while since I've talked about it. I know I've definitely answered about pens that, that take Goulet nibs, or a Goulet nib is a number six nib, so which pens will accept number six nibs? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have like a universal facet or something on, a ser on our search uh, function on our site to be able to just easily show it, so I thought maybe you could see uh, just this part and get an idea. So I'm gonna list you uh, a whole bunch of different pens that will accept a number six nib uh, and work well with a Goulet nib and kind of point out the ones that I think are best for it um, in terms of the way that our customers are using them and, and uh, the feedback from my team about which they uh, really love the most. Um, but it by all means is not a 100% exhaustive list, so just kind of keep that in mind. Um, I'm literally just going to kind of take it alphabetically because I went down my website and I was like, okay, what do we have currently? Because some of this stuff is like stuff's changed. We've had the nibs for a number of years and stuff's changed. Anyway, um, so starting out, I have the Conklin All-American, nice big pen. Number six, nib. Um, it does swap out. Oh, before I get all into it here, just a little disclaimer here. Anytime you're swapping nibs in and out of pens, you're not gonna be maintaining the original warranty because Conklin, of course, is not gonna warranty the way that the pen writes if you're swapping in a different brand's nib. So, um, and that pretty much goes for any brand. So just keep that in mind. If you're gonna be getting into playing around with pens, um, you gotta keep, keep that in mind. You're kind of doing so at your own risk, whatever risk that is. Swapping, most of the nib swapping on these pens is pretty low risk, but still, if you run into issues, you know, you're gonna have to kind of troubleshoot a little more on your own um, if anything goes, goes sideways. All right, so I've got the All-American here. The Conklin Duragraph, um, which I actually think is one of the better pens to uh, swap out uh, a nib with, especially if you want to expand your options a little bit. So Duragraph is a good one. Uh, the Conklin Herringbone is a relatively new one. Again, also more affordable now. Um, could be a good one, just like the Duragraph. It's a little bit heavier metal pen. So you check that one out. The Conklin Nighthawk, that one's already got a Goulet nib on it. Um, so you don't really necessarily need to swap it, but I, by all means, you certainly can, obviously, because it fits on there in the first place. Um, the Edison Beaumont, this one I have here is the Stealth one, it's a limited edition, but um, you know Edison uses uh, Yovo nibs just like Goulet does here, so these nibs will swap out relatively easily. And all these nibs that we're talking about here, these are, you have to yank the nib out of the housing mm -hmm. and then put it in. The Goulet nibs are just individual nibs, so just in case you weren't clear about that one. Um, Edison Collier is another good one that can do it. Um, again, kind of the same thing, Edison Nouveau Premier, same boat as that. Um, you know, you're not gaining a whole ton by doing that because Edison is a pretty great anyway, but still, it's an option. Um, Jin Hao is another really good option. I like this a lot. That's part of the reason why we carry Jin Hao in the first place. Oh, look at that. The one I grabbed doesn't even have a number six nib. Okay, well, this is, <laughs> that's funny. This particular one has a number five nib on it that uh, does not fit a Goulet nib, ironically, but the general style, you understand. <laughs> the ones, we ordered one shipment and there was, there's a language barrier sometimes uh, when we have to order overseas and, uh, when we told them we, we wanted a medium nib, they associated medium as medium in overall size, not in the tip size. So we ended up getting a whole batch of number five size nibs and we blew them out last year, early last year, if any of you remember that. That's why that happened. Anyway, but you can do that with an X450, an X750. You can do that with, um, sorry, I switched those. X450, 750, 159, all of them take uh, number six size nibs that you can swap out Goulet nibs with pretty successfully. Um, you can also do it with uh, Keras Customs, the bigger size, the ink. Um, uses, it uses Bach nibs on theirs, which are pretty decent, but you can certainly swap it out with a Goulet number six. Um, if you really want to, you can do it with Monograppa, the Fortuna, or they have several other pens that use um, the Game of Thrones as a number six size nib. These pens get a little expensive and you probably may not want to be pulling yanking pen, you know, nibs out of it all too often, but you can if you are so inclined. Uh, the Monteverde Invincia is another one. It's a bunch of different Monteverde, the Mountains of the World, uh, the Giant Sequoia that all take number six size nibs. So you can really can play with a whole bunch of different ones of those. Um, the Nemesign Singularity, nice affordable pen that uses number six as well. Um, you can swap that one out. Um, and then let's see what else we got. The Noodler's Ahab. So this one is, is a good one because um, it comes with a flex nib. So if you want a non-flex nib option for it, of course you can get a Noodler's uh, non-flex nib for very cheap, a couple of bucks. Um, but if you want to um, use a Goulet nib, you certainly can get a little upgrade there. 
uh, more options of sizes than just the one tip size of the Noodler's nib. Um, but that's a good one. And I had that in the original Goulet nib video as well as the Conrad. However, the Conrad has been tweaked. So that's part of the reason I wanted to update this particular video is because the Conrad um, does not fit the Goulet nib reliably anymore. Some will fit, some won't that was modified so that it would fit the nibs and work better with the flex nibs, but it sacrifices some of the versatility of being able to swap nibs out. So um, that was an adjustment that Noodlers made mm, a year ago or so. Um, and so now I don't highly recommend swapping out. A, I can't reliably recommend swapping out a nib on a Conrad. You may be able to do it, but I wouldn't buy it solely with that intention, okay? Almost at the end here, um, tactile turn gist uh, is one that I think will fit as well. Um, as, so they use Bach nibs on theirs, but it'll fit uh, a number six size on there. Um, and then, um, sorry, going back real quick to the Noodlers one, the Neponset is kind of in the same boat as the Conrad. So it'll fit on some, it'll fit on, not it'll fit on others. So the Ahab is really the only one I recommend swapping it onto. Um, and lastly is a Twizy VAC 700R. It'll fit on the VAC 700 as well, um, but the R is the one that they currently have now. So you can pull it out of there. You gotta be careful with the fins on the fins on these feeds um, because it can be easy to break them. So, but if you can be careful and you can swap those nibs out, you can do some good stuff. Again, let me back end it with a disclaimer here to say if you're swapping nibs out of your pens, if you break any parts as you're pulling it out or whatever, you may be able to get replacement parts maybe but it's not always so straightforward so just be careful when you're doing it you know use use a grip if you can you know use rubber gloves whatever you need to 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 properly grip it you don't want to go just yanking stuff all over the place and only do what you're comfortable with because you're kind of taking it at your own risk um, there's definitely other pens that will take number six nibs um, you know but that's kind of the ones that i would just most readily recommend um, the top ones for me being the duragraph the gin house and the noodlers uh, ahab and probably the nemesine singularity too would be pretty good so kind of those ones uh, would be at my tops cool